friends welcome to today's vlog today is wednesday i just got to my school and i decided to pick up some coffee this morning i'm so excited about it i love the mornings that i get coffee i was feeling especially tired and especially drained today i don't know if it's it's like the first week of school all over again or something but i am exhausted so I decided to treat myself to a little bit of coffee and so that's something I'm super excited about. Um, today is a pretty typical day. We um, are doing a lot of our normal things but tomorrow we have like a STEM night and then we also have a staff meeting in the morning and then I think we have a staff meeting on Friday in the morning. So today is like my last like good amount of time before school and after school to do work. So I think I might stay a little bit later and try to finish up some projects or at least get them finished during like my plan time or something. I don't know. I really want to finish their word work folders that I've been working on. I want to like set everything up and get everything ready for them. So it will be fun. I need to put up their artwork as well and just do some different little things. So I'm going to take you along today. And so if you guys are new here, hello, my name is Haley. I'm a first year kindergarten teacher and it's been so fun vlogging and taking you guys along throughout my entire journey. And so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you would like to see the rest of my vlogmas videos and the rest of my journey as a first year teacher. And also please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and let's go inside. Okay, I'm just in my classroom right now. I am going to design a little word work folder cover or I'm gonna find one on teachers pay teachers for free depending whatever is easiest and then I need to print out their sight words and then get them all prepped and stuff so I can put them inside of these folders um I talked about this in yesterday's vlog the pack that I bought of sight word um worksheets and stuff and so I will link um that video up here if you are interested in seeing what I bought from the TPT sale so I'm gonna work on that this morning and then I will check in with you guys afterwards and show you what it looks like. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. So I just finished this project. So all I did was make this really simple folder cover so we know what the folder is for. And then I put all of our sight word lists into here. And so this is done. So I'm gonna go print it off really fast. And then this is a really big thing that I was able to get done this morning. So I'm happy about that. And so I'm gonna go print that off really fast. And then the kids are arriving right now. So yay, the day is starting. So I'll check in with you guys later on today. Hello friends, it is my plan time now. We just finished up writing and so today we were writing about something that we like and so we wrote about that yesterday and so today I told a story about how I like Christmas and my cats and so I told a story about how my husband and I, so I just say Mr. Backholm and I, were at our house and we set up our Christmas tree and we were so excited and then our cat Zola saw the Christmas tree and she was thinking oh my goodness I love the Christmas tree and she climbed up the Christmas tree and so I told that story and this actually happened and so I showed the kids the video of um, actually Nala climbing up, climbing up the Christmas tree and the kids thought it was so funny they were dying laughing at my story as I was telling it on like the whiteboard as I was writing it and so they were so engaged it was just so cute because it's just it was just so fun and so that's what we wrote about today and the kids did such a good job today and so as I talked about in my classroom management video I do class points versus teacher points and the kids are only one point away from getting their painting party and so they are absolute angels today because they want to earn that point so badly so I have a feeling that today is going to be a very good day because we want to earn that last point so yeah, so we just set up for math. I am finishing up that sight word um, project I have been working on all day. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what I'm up to. Um, I'm trying to think if anything else interesting has happened. I don't know why, I'm just in such a good mood today. I don't know if it's because like I'm accomplishing some projects that I wanted to do or because I am just happy or because I got Starbucks, I don't know. But today is going really, really well. So I'm really excited about it. Um, so I got some questions on my classroom library in my last video, so I thought I would show you how I organize the books and what our library looks like. 
Okay, so this is our classroom library. The rug is from Ikea. Some of the pillows are from Target, some of them are from Amazon, and then some were left in my classroom when I took it over. And so this is what the library looks like. The bins are from Dollar Tree. I have three different types of bins, I think, honestly, just because I couldn't find them all. It doesn't really bother me that there are some that are different colors, like lighter, lighter shades of blue, but I still really like these bins. And so I have them sorted kind of in a different mixture. So I have like some topics, some authors, and then some just like, um, like characters. So they're all a little bit different. So I'll just show you all the different um, labels. I actually had a have a video on these labels, how I made them, and then also a link to the Google Drive that you guys can access these labels if you want. So I will link it up in the iCards if you're interested, but I have like Sing Along Books, Splat the Cat, If You Give a, and David, Pigeon, Madeline, Nonfiction People, Pinkalicious, Fiction Books, Pete the Cat Books, etc. So we just have lots of books in our library. My kids absolutely love reading, and so I'm really excited about it because I love books and I love literacy. Literacy is like what I majored in. So it definitely makes my heart happy that they love reading as much as I love literacy. So um, yeah, that's kind of our system. I do not have the books like labeled with like a sticker or anything. I just have them stamped on the inside with my name. But that is a project that maybe this summer I will do. But honestly, this summer I just did not have time to do that. And I did not have them organized well enough that I could figure out what labels I would need for each book. So that might be a summer project that you guys will see. Um, me labeling the books so they actually are a little more organized. <laughs> I did want to show you one more thing that we just started doing and we started making class books out of our writing. So I will show you. So in our class library, we have these books. We just started doing this like last week, but I had the kids write about the topic we were writing about for the week, but I had them do it just like on loose leaf paper. And so this book is about what we love about ourselves. And so the kids all have their own writing piece in here. I can't show you because there's names, but. And then I just used the binding machine and bound it. And then we also wrote about what we're thankful for. And so I'm planning on doing one book a week. And then hopefully at the end of the year, we will have enough books that every child can take home a book. So that's something we just started doing that the kids absolutely love. The parents love seeing them. I put these out on a table during conferences so the parents could look at it and so they loved trying to find their kids writing and then they could just like be all excited about what they wrote about so yeah that's kind of all I have to update you on right now I'm just kind of hanging out until um, the kids come back I am gonna finish up that site word project math is all set up if you can see we're doing all about shapes today so that's very exciting stuff in kindergarten. <laughs> so I will check with you guys later on today. Hello friends, it is after school now. I just finished cleaning up, putting things away and setting out things for tomorrow morning for my kiddos to work on and finish. We are doing like a December calendar and so um, they have finished all the parts of it except for the craft that goes on the front and so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. And we ended up doing like a little craft. I'll show you what we are going to do that I need to prep a little bit of things before I leave. I'm trying to find, oh, I will show you how the snowflakes turned out that we filmed, that I filmed a few days ago in a vlog. Let me show you. So we made these little snowflakes and all of them turned out so beautiful. The glitter is like so pretty. I'm really excited that um, we did these and they all turned out different because the kids all did them and I'm so proud of them for doing this because Making snowflakes is not an easy job. And I'm gonna put these on our door on the outside. We also did another craft today where I painted the kids' hands brown and then we um, did finger, what are they called, handprints? And that's gonna be antlers for their reindeer and I'm gonna take a picture of their face really, really close up and then put their antlers on their head and then use these little um, red, what are these called, little pom-poms? and put it on for their nose. And so they're gonna turn out so cute. I'm so excited. It was actually my team partner's craft that I am just doing as well because she said I could. And so that's what we're gonna do for our bulletin board this month. And then I also finished our sight word folders, which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna show you what is inside. So this is our word work folder that I made this morning. I showed you making it. And so this is how it turned out. So inside right now, there is just these little Heart word list that our school uses. I think this is Nellie Edge. So we use CCC and then we also use some Nellie Edge words as well for these word lists. 
And so this is just what my school uses. So I just printed them out on the corresponding colored paper. And then how I'm going to use these is each student is going to have their own folder. I'm going to test them probably weekly and see which ones they know and which ones they need to practice. And then the, they'll practice like five every week. So say they know these five, but then these five they don't know. I will highlight or check these off and then they will know that these are the ones they are practicing through the week. And then at the end of the week, I will test them and see if they knew any of them. And then if they do, then I will give them new ones. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know if I'm explaining it that clearly, but this is something new to me. I did this in student teaching and it worked with my first graders really well. So I'm hopeful that it will work pretty well for my kindergartners. I think it will. I think they'll think it's fun. And I love that it's differentiated and it's really where the kids are at, which I really need and want. <laughs> and so that is my newest thing that I have been working on. So I finished all their folders. So I have all their folders ready and so I can introduce this. I think I'm going to do it on Friday during rotations, small group rotations. So that is when we will introduce these folders and then I will have to fill in where they are at and test them and stuff. So, But it is after 5 o'clock now. I might pick out, print out their pictures really fast but I already put away my computer. Hmm, what to do, what to do. <laughs> I might print out their pictures really fast and then head out and then um, call it a day. Overall, today was a really, really good day. My kids were little sweethearts all day long and they just worked really hard and they did everything I asked them to do. And so it was a lot better of a day than yesterday. Yesterday, we struggled a little bit with the falling directions and like they were really, really chatty and hyper. And so today was a lot better, thank goodness. So hopefully tomorrow will be a good day as well. Thursdays are usually our harder day of the week but i'm hopeful that we will be able to make it good we also have an after school stem night tomorrow and so i will be here for very long <laughs> so it'll be a long packed day tomorrow but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and let me know down below if you are enjoying vlogmas i know that it is a lot of work for me to upload these videos so hearing feedback from you guys and just Hearing that you guys enjoy them and that you like these videos really helps me stay motivated. And so, yeah, if you are enjoying them, please let me know down below. I really appreciate it. And so, if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. <laughs> Bye! Santa's coming to visit